Well, it's time to go get our uh, a pet back, you know. Well, I guess I'm not back because it's Matt's pet, but we're gonna go pick up, you know, our uh, future companion for fighting, you know, all the monsters our uncle decided to throw around town, you know, because he decided to throw a hissy fit, because you know I'm like, oh, you're evil. Of course, we're gonna learn the truth eventually, but for now, I can wait. We don't we don't need to know the secret about why Matt, you know, is looking for these potions of power just yet, or the weird confusion it must lead to later on. <sighs> and I wish they'd stop reminding us to go excel at mini games, because I really, you know, probably gonna spend a lot of time on mini games at some point. But I'd prefer to do that between recordings if I can. Okay, let's go this way, I believe. Darn it, that's the wrong way. I want to go over this way. Yeah. Gosh darn it. It's a small world, but. You know, I sometimes get my um, directions mixed mixed up. Ugh. Not as bad as some um, people that have written um, walkthroughs have, though. I remember one guy's writing a walkthrough for um, Nocturne. They managed to get east and west confused, because um, I guess they're going with just left or right, you know, for determining it. And didn't realize that was going to be affected by if they're facing north or south. So they had a complete mess happen because of it. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, you were. But I will need the blue pets. Uh, can't convince them. Yeah, I could help you in some other way. Great. I gotta go change clothes first. I had a suspicion that was coming up soon. But I didn't really have to deal with it, you know, until I was forced to. Because it's a game mechanic that just annoys the crap out of me. You can't please everybody, no matter how hard you try. And basically, it's just going to be a not a change in our actual dress, but in our colors. Yeah. If you change the color of your outfit, it'll convince them you're no longer going to you know, side with Matt. What makes them think I'm going to side with them right now because I'm wearing blue? I don't know, considering our uncle's green. Maybe if we're more red or something and looked more like a rival color, he'd be happier. Maybe we're going to have to go for like a hot pink. But we're basically going to have to focus on what he likes, you know, to get things done. Of course, you can only play mini games with people that like your outfit. Which is so stupid. Ugh. You can tell the people that made this game work on a lot of Barbie games. That's why this has to be a mechanic, because, you know, if Barbie girls, you know, that, that's always got to be a problem for them, right? Okay. Let's uh, change your outfit. Oh, I'm sure they do, but like I said, we don't have any outfit choices at the moment. You gotta buy those, and you can't even buy them until like near the end of the game. And then you got you got less mini game access, so you don't have access to like the mini game I actually enjoy the most. At least it seems to disappear later on, though that might be because my outfit isn't agreeable to the guy. Because you know, gotta be wearing those agreeable colors. Well, I guess we do have, you know, slight choices there. Okay. Now, let's see. Um... Gosh darn it. Okay. I don't know why we can't get Bobo to really like this outfit. I guess that's just gonna have to suffice. I really can't get him to like it too much, apparently. Ugh, of course, it's gonna take forever to change into. 
I guess I forgot. We had we have two initial starting outfits. Uh, I just usually don't bother changing my clothes that much because this doesn't come up too often. Problem is, there's only so much I can really do about the whole um, like aspect. I mean, I may have to come back here and try messing with it some more and see if I can further up his approval, but I might need a new dress to truly get to that point. I thought we changed our clothes already. It did not go through for some stupid reason. Do I have to hit OK on each individual outfit piece? And then hit OK on the end to leave? Oh my gosh. Seriously, game, do you have to make this so annoying? Like, like really? <sighs> I'm going to spend way more time on this than I intended. Ugh. Just trying to remember that details in this game can be a bit on the annoying side, I guess. Okay. Okay, that seems a bit off color there. I mean, it's not the same green, but it's better. Um, yeah, there we go. Of course, we need to change our outfit again for her, because she doesn't like this outfit at all. Um, but what about, uh... A certain other character. Okay, he likes it, I guess. Likes it well enough, we can probably do the mini game. Ugh. I figured, you know, we'd, we'd just switch it and then and, and we'd okay it and that'd be fine, but no. Ugh. Gosh darn it. It's like the game's trying to annoy me, but I guess now we can be sure that, you know, our, no, the, uh, our target of our uh, manipulations is willing to be manipulated now. Because we are in his preferred outfit. Or about as preferred as we can get. Great. Now I go back again. Ugh. So much wasted time. It hurts. Ugh, especially since this game is not particularly long if you count all the grinding stuff you gotta do on it. Like, the last time I played through this game it was just five parts. I thought, you know, I'd done a previous revisit, but no. I played through this game once in order to do a review of it, then someone asked me to play through the entire game, because no one's done that before, I guess. Because the last person I was trying to do a Let's Play before me, I guess, stopped near the middle or so, and just gave up on it, because the game was just that bad for them. They just couldn't put up with it anymore. Which, I can understand. Like, this is a game where you just have to just accept, you know, it's not going to be very good. And just keep playing regardless. And now everyone's going to be able to do that, you know, be like, yeah, we're just going to keep playing. Whether we're having a good time or not, we're just going to force our way through it. You know? Sad part is we're not going to get a lot of extra items. I mean, you get some from random encounters, but... Well, not random encounters, they're touch encounters, but... That's not usually the case. You don't usually get rewards. For fighting, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, yeah, can I just please have it? Yeah, I don't want anything bad happen to him. How do you know his name? But, yep, we now have access to Comey. Yep. Can we trade for some freaking food now? Uh, if I'm afraid to leave the castle. Afraid of what? Yeah, it probably would happen. Great. Uh, except, I guess. Why am I gonna go bother for pet food? Uh, let's have a look then. 19 moons. Pressed. Uh, sell pet food for 42 moons. Let's see. Buy endurance food for 600 moons. 630. Let's see, Ring of Life, huh? Well, now... Buy six when I quit, but I don't have enough uh, money for that. 
Increases strength by plus four. Doesn't sound that great. Yep. Exit. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for, man. Yep, endurance up. Oh, that'll help out for now. Let's see. Let's just keep running. I prefer we go do a mini game if we can. After all, I could really use those. Yeah, I need some work, man. Eh, I can say something to you. Let's see, pet food. 70 moons, yeah. I need work first. That's <laughs> a racist. I love seeing them lose. Yeah, we're a good team together. This is like one of the best ways to get money in this game, in my experience. This is like the easiest way to get lots of money. Because you want to set it on the lake and just collect the magic water lilies that pop up. And if you go quickly, you can beat the other team to what they're going after and sort of not let them get any water lilies. Which allows you to get a lot of money. I'll, this may not be the fastest mini game, but it's one of the most profitable. At least if you're good at it. Problem is, you know, you need to practice a little bit. Which does not necessarily endear me to this game, but it's not hard. Use the analog sticks to move yourself. Problem is, you know, I gotta get back into practice. Come on. Ugh. Gotta get turned around. I hate doing this first. Basically, you gotta get, you know, some distance. Ugh, gosh darn it. Being out of practice with this sucks. Because I'm not approaching the flowers correctly. Okay. Okay, gotta turn around. Turn around, gotta go at the flower, one at a tile at a time. Get turn around back for that other flower we passed earlier. Ugh. Gotta build up some speed. Okay. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ugh. Come on. Let me add it. Come on. Ugh, give up on that for now. Come on, let's just hit this one with enough speed. Jeez. The fact that water lays work to push you away just really sucks. Come on. I really wish they would have Come on. Come on, just let me go. Ugh. Just will not let me get to it. Like, I don't have enough speed to do it. Got it. Sad part is it looks like we're gonna lose this time because I wasted too much time in the early game trying to build up speed for some of these shots. Okay. They're going after that target. It looks like they're going to freaking sweep it. Okay. Okay, got that one. Thank you. Looks like they're going after it again. And 
they didn't get enough speed either. Thank you, other boat. You pushed me into it. Okay. Come on. It turned around. Need to go over this way. Yeah, this takes getting used to. Why don't you get used to it? This isn't a bad game, but... Like I said, you gotta get used to it. And that's not always the easiest thing to do here. Okay, we need to turn around all the way so we're pointing back towards our target. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna beat us on the thrusting there. I don't want to throw them into it. Gosh darn it. Okay. Well, while well, they're distracted, I'll go for this one. I think I can get to it quickly enough. Okay, come on. Jeez. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Get closer, damn you. Ugh, just a little bit closer. Ugh, gosh darn it. Just let me have it. Yeah, you gotta get a big win if you want way more money than that. Ugh, maybe better off go playing the cat mini game again. That kitten gets lost, like, perpetually, because he's almost never around. <sighs> like, I gotta repractice my strokes until I get really good again. Because if you get, like, all of them, it's worth, like, three or four thousand, I think. But since we only won by, like, two, it's not considered a big win. So, yeah. <sighs> But, I should be able to trade for the food now. Yep, let's uh, finish that, confirm an exit. An exit, I don't feel like playing the mini game again. Like, doing it again might help a little bit, but not as much as I'd like. Let's just ram into this thing. Like, seriously, we might as well get into a fight at some point. Because we're going to need to work on leveling up at some point. But we can also use basic healing magic in battle, which we're going to exploit the heck out of at some point, I'm sure. Maybe not this battle, but some battle. It'll be considered super important we do that. I just wish this battle would load a bit faster. And it's got the same load time getting out of battles. Ugh. So I'm not exactly going to be cutting things down too much, because I keep talking during the load screens. If I just shut up, I can just start deleting that stuff, but screw it. If I gotta suffer through it, people can suffer through it. Yep. We're gonna offer an unneeded heal. Because we can. Well, I assume they're gonna go with a basic guard. It's gonna be a pattern, so I'm just gonna have to try and recognize it. Yep. Well, cheating's in the air. Well, that negates all the damage we took effectively. Let's uh, do some more shooting, I guess. Well, predicted my move that time, did you? Well, called it. Eh, that's good enough. Hit him with the yellow again, man. I mean, we'll get through eventually. It's just gonna take a while. Which sucks. Okay, hopefully he's not predicting we're going for the big shot. Eh, apparently he did. Gosh darn it. 
Oh, quick shot. Well, whatever. We can recover real fast and then do another heal. And another heal. Real quick, just completely negate this. And we got another free heal. I wasn't even moving the thing at that point. Okay. Well, back to abusing the system. Come on. Come on. You don't even have to really rotate that much to count it as a rotation in this game. Okay. Yeah, I gotta predict the big shot. Or does it just never use it? Like, seriously, it's getting weird. Like, I figured you go for hypercritical or something. Ugh, sadly, mine did not do that much. So I wish I had more powerful healing, too. So you know, heal back like 10 HP would be far better than 5. Ugh, whatever. Well, it's a full gauge, so I'm assuming he's going hypercritical on me. Yep. Of course he did. Yeah, I know, this is a really long goddamn fight, ain't it? It's like... Like, you think by now the fight would be over, but no. So far as I don't know what his defensive block was going to be a pick for. Of course, using the power shot takes longer, too, so he's going to get another attack in on me. He's going to use the same pattern as last time. I wish I'd been writing it down, since then I could just abuse that knowledge. And take advantage of it for, you know, a bunch of free hits. Well, whatever. We'll use what we can. And negate that attack. Because, you know, I love negating attacks. Yep, just stick to red, I guess. Nice. Oh, if only that was going a bit faster. Ah, shoot. He picked red. Well, got majorly healed that time. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. We're healing for free. So we can negate all the damage, making the enemy feel helpless before our superior powers. And it doesn't really feel like superior powers, does it? Just feels like the power of abusive bullshit. Because you just can waggle the stick like back and forth a little bit and have it count, you know, as a full rotation or several full rotations around. Like it's ridiculous because that's not how it's meant to work. Oh, another red shot. Apparently I should just be predicting red. Well, whatever. I'm not very good at rock, paper, scissors, what can I say? Yeah, kind of a pointless last heal there. And I wasn't even moving the stick at that point. I had so much bonus build up, I got to do it twice. Okay, here it comes again. My red shot of doom. Finally. And of course, notice the pet just apparently got knocked out, because it's still breathing. Well, now, finally it's done. Our first fight of many. I'm like, jeez, right? You're like, this fight is taken forever. We spent, like, what, the better part of five minutes in that fight? I'm like, damn, it took me almost long to get dressed. And that's because I screwed up the first time. Ugh. Yeah, talk to your neighbors to receive new quests. Yep. Gotta talk to them a lot. Of course, I usually talk to Bobo to see if he's got, you know, stat-raising food. Because there's a lot of people that sell that. He's just one of the more common and cheaper options for it. 
So I'd like to visit him and be like, can you give me some food, man? Okay. Yep. I only spent 700 moons on it. Oh, sweet. He's got more in. Well, now I'm going to buy this endurance food. And I want the strength food, obviously, to raise my power. And exit, because I got no other reason to talk to you right now. Yep. Plus one. So he's got a strength of four now. We could go use our stats to raise our uh, strength up a bit, I guess. But for now, let's go visit Uncle Matt so we can get all the details set down for our uh, matches to prove which method of training is superior. Force feeding your pets, you know, potions determined to monsters or, you know the old standard tactic of, you know, fighting until they get better. Of course, you know, I'm still using drugs myself, I suppose, so it's not completely fair. Uh, I probably want to hurry up and run past these guys. After all, you know, we're trying to do this a bit quickly, right? Because no one wants to watch me do another, like, five-minute fight, right? They're like, do it on your own time. Plus, you just showed you can cheat your way through them using infinite heals. So it's not even really a challenge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. Give him back to me, please. His name's Comey. Promise to protect him, I'll keep my word. But I won't harm him. My experience will only make him stronger. He'll go on a roid rage, man. Who cares if he stays cute or not? Must be some other way. My experiments are the best method. You can't argue with the results. I won't believe that. I'll train Koei myself and make him stronger than all of your monsters. <laughs> what? You're you're not joking? You have no chance of succeeding at all. It's hopeless. If you believe that, then why don't we have a fair duel? You're a monster against my Komi. If I win, you must tell me everything about your experiments leave the mine forever. Hmm, I like the idea of a duel. But even if my monster loses, however unlikely that is. You know, I'll only describe the experiments. I can't afford to lose when I'm so close to reaching my goal. Fine. Deal! Now if you lose, Komi is mine. What? I don't have any other choice, do I? Not at all. I'm sure we'll win anyway, somehow. I'll return for the duel once I finish training Komi. I could probably win the duel now, but let's go train, I guess. Well, no. Heading off to go practice some dueling. Gotta get that experience so we can raise our abilities. Yeah, I don't bother using potions to help Komi in battle. Mainly because you don't really want to buy that many energy potions anyway, considering, you know, you can cheese things out with, uh, well, let's face it, food bonuses. I will probably spend a lot of time grinding out, you know, money to buy food to raise my stats. More than I should. Though I just wish the battle screen would load faster. Hopefully this fight goes easier, though, considering, you know, this light fight is against an enemy that's lower level than I am. Though it's probably still faster than me, gosh darn it. I hate losing the speed game. Well, at least we nerfed its attack. Well, let's see. Seven damage. It's alright, I guess. It's a start. Getting there is just gonna take a while. Oh, sticking to more yellow, huh? Fun. Have a chance, huh? Ooh, critical hit. Nice. Heal up. Heal up that last one HP there. Darn it. Still wasn't moving the stick again. Okay. Well, he managed to get through my guard at least. Um. Go hypercritical, I guess. 
come on, it's my strongest move. Thank you, he didn't block it this time. Though he might be going for that pretty soon, I don't know. Not all of them wait till they get fully charged up for that. Because even if you block it, you can't usually nullify all the damage from it. Damn it. I didn't move the stick again. And I'll stick to the basic. After all, this doesn't fully use up my gauge. So let's be charged for a powerful attack faster. And I do like to abuse speed spam. Okay. I know what's coming. Because once they set their pattern over, they got do it over and over and over again. They don't get much variety around here. I only predicted it that time, huh? Oh yeah, he's gonna do yellow again. Darn it. That was my fault. I forgot what he does. If only for a moment. Hopefully he's not going to expect this to be coming so we can finish this fight. Yep, press the button to win. Come on. I don't have enough bonuses yet, really. But I may have to go expend the ones we have just because, because I'm going to want to do most of the grinding on my own time, right? Because watching me do these lengthy fights is not the funnest way to spend time. Because they just take so damn long. Plus, I could probably help myself out by going and doing the boat races and buying that um agility boost. Because raising my speed by plus six points would at least help out a little bit. But I also want to show how you upgrade your pets at home. Probably means I'm going to have to try and dodge this next one, because it's in the way of the house. Okay, let's just go inside here. If we go mess with uh, the bed, we should be able to assign certain abilities to Comey. Like, do you want to have tougher claws and stuff like that? Which is always a good thing to have. I usually prefer going for the um, speed boost first, just because of how important speed is for getting quick attacks in. Because if you can attack more often, you're more likely to win. At least if you're going for a quick win. Come on. Come on, load faster, will you? Okay. Learn perks. Yeah. Basic regeneration, good luck. Uh, Anti-apathy. Health is below 80%. Cancel. Yeah, we'll go with this then. After all, we're going to keep his speed up, so there's not much we can do about that. Yep. Prove agility. Now we're going to have to go learn more by fighting monsters now. Well, that'll do for this episode. I'm going to go train, you know, and prepare ourselves to fight, you know, our uncle's pet. Till next time, then. See ya.